welcome to the Mojave National Preserve. So, if you guys have been following our journey thus far, we visited three national parks, the Grand Canyon, Bryce Canyon, and Zion. So, with all that, we figured we're gonna get off the, the real beaten path here and explore something a little bit different. So, we're gonna be spending the next few days exploring the Mojave Desert here. Follow along with us and we'll see what we find. Okay, so that's not gonna work for us. The trailhead, or the gate anyway, for the entry point to where we were hoping to go into the Mojave is actually locked. So we're gonna have to go around and plan another route. So we found our way back to the Mojave Road. It turns out we originally took a wrong turn and it was on a route that I actually planned. So I planned for us to take a wrong turn, unfortunately and it led to a, a locked gate. Anyway, we all we had to do was back out towards the power lines, slip down a little south, and head west here. And uh, I have Gaia GPS here to thank for that because I would not have found this route out here in the middle of nowhere otherwise. I pretty much use this app for all my navigating for the most part. I have the Garmin in reach here, but it's usually used for communication but when it comes to navigating, I prefer to have Gaia GPS. The Garmin actually does act as a good backup source for maps. I have everything I need on there just in case. But Gaia has served its purpose well for me and has gotten us back on the road here. So we are making our way forward on the Mojave Road. I know you guys have seen this tent a lot on our vehicle and I really haven't talked about it at all. So what I have here is the 230 Breezeway 62 inch. And um, so far I'm really liking it. It's a good fit. There's lots of room up top for two people. And uh, I don't have a whole lot of complaints about it. The only dislike I have, if you guys have noticed by now, is let me show you over here. These uh, tent rods up here will not fit on the other side with the awning attached. My awning really kind of blocks where those rods need to go. And it's not really 230's fault, that's more of just how it fits on my vehicle. I just can't use that side. But I don't have a whole lot to complain about. It works, it does a really good job for what it does and what we need it to do. And if you noticed here on the floor, I know I talked about some of the gear we carry in the back. I have a Jackery 1000 watt power station here. That is what I use to charge 
pretty much all my batteries, the fridge, camera batteries, drone batteries, and uh, laptops as well for moving media across. It has pretty much become my nightly ritual to offload footage off SD cards and onto hard drives at night, so having our computers with us really helps. And that power station does a lot to keep things moving. I've kind of been pushing it pretty hard the past two days. I haven't had it on a charger at all. I pretty much drove it all the way down to 4% while we were at Zion National Park. Pretty much for the whole visit there, I didn't have it plugged in. But I have it charging on solar right now. Typically, I have it charging off of the uh, 12 volt off the car while it's running. But I don't want it running when the car is off. Otherwise, we would be stranded with a dead car battery. And that is one thing I don't want on this road trip. So I'd make it a normal habit to unplug that, plug in solar, and uh, just let it do its thing for the night. So the plan, get dinner going, and just kind of enjoy the campsite. That's uh, kind of becoming a theme on this channel. Well, it's a little breezy, and uh, there's not a whole lot we can do about it. We just kind of got to deal with it. We had a pretty full day traveling across the Mojave. We covered a uh, majority of our uh, stretch across it. We're just going to relax, probably get some dinner, and uh, stay out of this wind as best as we can. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to finish the rest of the, the Mojave Road. And my goodness, that's windy. So the wind is just kind of beating outside constantly. It is probably pushing 90 degrees out there. And you guys have heard me say this before in a past video about the inside of this tent having no ability to have light pass through it, which is kind of a really nice feature because it just shaves off all that heat that you get built up in like normal tents where light leaks through. Whereas this one, I just crack open a few windows here. It's just a, a really cool breeze coming through and uh, it's like being in the shade. So we're just kind of sitting out the wind here and uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what the plan is. Um, we probably can't even get dinner going if the wind keeps up like this. Uh, probably have issues lighting the stove.
Well, that was one really hot afternoon and uh, still feel the heat. It's a pretty warm breeze blowing even though the uh, sun has just set over this hill here. And uh, man, it is hot. So, figured it was time to finally get up. Kind of got the, the uh, need to uh, eat here. So I figured, why not bore you guys with the mundane? And uh, I'm gonna make myself a sandwich. <laughs> 